All right, guys, welcome back to the Glorious Evs YouTube channel. I don't, I'm not really sure why the uh, the tutorials I make get so many more views than the videos that I actually put effort into. But to be honest, I'm not going to question, you know, the YouTube ways. I all, if I've learned anything from doing YouTube, it's don't question the YouTube ways. Just, just go with the flow. So uh, clearly, tutorials are in demand right now, which is weird because they're already all over YouTube. But I'm not, like I said, I'm not going to question it. So here's another tutorial brought to you by absolutely no one who was asking. Nobody requested this, but I thought it would be something that you guys should know. Because as far as I know, you guys, uh, some of you use Steam, right? Steam, you know, the the computer program that basically, like, what's the definition? I guess it's an online retailer. Ah, that's right. It's a vapor into which water is converted when heated, forming a white mist of minute water droplets in the air i totally forgot oh you know because steam comes out of valves <laughs> oh that's great yeah oh it's a digital distribution platform that's the word i was looking for drm okay it's a drm steam is a drm fellas and so you download game you all know what steam is who am i kidding if you don't you can google it anyhow so the this tutorial is aimed at those of you who actually use steam on a regular basis and actually like launch your games through steam and actually um add me on steam uh i'm lonely no but <clears throat> Yeah, so those of you who use Steam, probably 45% of you, 50% of you, 55, I don't know. Uh, so those of you who use Steam, you're going to want to watch this if you don't know how to install themes. If you don't know how to install themes, then uh, once again, why, why'd you click on the video? I don't know. As long as you watched an advertisement at the beginning, though, that's awesome. Uh, so give me that sweet YouTube money. It's almost like a fraction of a penny there, so thank you very much. Uh, maybe I can pay my college tuition. I don't know, by the way. Uh... There's going to be a poll in the description of this video, completely off topic, but I just thought now, um, college tuition or VR headset? Let me know in the comments. I'm going to start like a straw poll or something. Anyhow, uh, back on topic. So, let us let me tell you a little bit, short story, So before we get into this. And if you, I, I'll, I'll s include like an annotation on the screen where you can skip to the actual video. If you, if you actually just, if you just like, screw this, I just googled this, I just searched it up, and I just want to watch the tutorial. Here you go, here's the, here's the time that you can skip to. And, uh, <clears throat> yeah, so, a little bit of background. So, Valve, you know, is a great company. They developed Steam. They made some good games over the years. But the, their one thing is that they, they, they don't really, they aren't very good at graphic design. I, maybe they just don't hire graphic designers, which is completely fine because they've done something more ingenious. Basically, they, they've made it so that the community just does all their graphic designing for them. And what do, you, what do I mean by that? Well, I mean that... Th Steam themes exist, and basically what the theme is, is if you don't like the normal Steam UI, which I don't like it, I mean, that's that's what led me to Google this in the first place, I didn't like it, I disliked it so much that I decided I needed to change it, and it turns out changing it's really, really easy, because people all over just make these Steam themes, right? And so, the theme, it changes, it, it doesn't just change, like, how the buttons look and such, it changes the entire layout, so, like, it might take some getting used to if you if you if you're used to the normal Steam layout because it you know it looks different sometimes the buttons are in different places because it looks better etc etc so it takes like almost five or six minutes of getting used to but after that you should be fine and i think it's worth it because it looks a lot better so basically the steam theme is a way to revamp your steam launcher and make it look like a software that wasn't invented in 1998 but rather in like 2014 depending on which theme you download okay so that's basically the entire premise, and it's on a scale of 1 to 10 difficulty level, I'd rate it about a, a 2 and a half. It's very, very easy. It's literally, I think, just dragging and dropping files, mostly. So before you start this tutorial off, though, some things that you're going to need. You're going to need, uh, A, you're going to need to download Steam. It's free, Mac, uh, Windows, Linux, the platforms. It's, it's free. It's free, okay, guys? Uh, but you do need to spend at least $5 if you want to, like, add friends, I think, so, uh... Yeah, that's a thing. Anyhow, uh, so you're going to need Steam. You're going to need uh, the software, you know. You're going to need to actually use Steam on a regular basis for it to be actually worth it for you to do this. You're going to need uh, a desire for a slightly better looking UI, and that's literally, that's that's it. This is a Windows tutorial, by the way. I mean, I assume it works pretty similar for Mac and Linux. If you if, if any of you actually use Mac and Linux, I can make those tutorials because I, I can do like a Hackintosh and then of course I can boot into a popular Linux distro and do it there. But if if there's even a slight demand for that, I don't see one right now because no one has requested it. But if even like one of you guys requests it, that means there's like like a few people that want it. So I can totally do that. Alright, so here we are on the beautiful desktop. Now I actually forgot how easy this actually was. 
I just refreshed myself, and it's actually even easier than I thought it was. So, so here we are in the normal Steam layout, and if you're watching this tutorial, I'm guessing this is what you're probably using because you probably don't have a theme installed, see? So, um, what you're gonna want, as you can see, first of all, I'd like to point out that I do have 81 cents in my Steam wallet, so, uh, the American Dream is still alive, anything is possible, rags to riches, uh, living the dream, and, uh, let's, let's just get right into this video. So, Steam, right? So here's the normal layout. I don't really like it that much. Some people love it. I'm not one of those people, see? So, let's just see. Let's say I go on the internet, and I'm looking for good Steam themes. And I'm just going to go with a random one. I spelled themes with two E's. Whoops. Uh, so the best... You got all these articles. You can literally just Google, find any Steam skin you want. It, it really doesn't matter. I'm pretty sure there's a billion of them. So here's like what's... Oh my! This one looks awesome. Wow. Oh my goodness, now this, okay, let's let's check this article out actually real quick. Uh, Metro, now this is the one I use, I really like this one. But this one though, oh this looks beautiful, wow, see, this is, this is really just gives you an example of like how much you can actually change, it looks like an entirely new software. Looks like a paradigm shifting, like next level, I don't really like this one. I really don't like that one. 20 minutes later. Okay, this one looks like it was from 1980. Okay, these are- One hour later. Maybe later we'll just do a tutorial on how to make your own skin, but for right now, let's just do installing. So it's really easy. Okay, so just stay with me, there's like two steps. So, let's say we want to do Metro. So, here we are on the Metro for Steam website, I kind of got to sidetrack there, but okay. So this is the website for this theme I use, you can use this one, you can use a different one. Steps are the same, basically. So, here we are. It brings a fresh, clean style, okay, that's that's fantastic, uh, but- the Download link is right up here. Now, this is one of those websites that's like overly simplistic to the point where it's actually sometimes difficult to understand what's going on. This has actually gotten even more simplistic since I've since I've actually like been on this. What the heck is this website? How do I go to the actual? Please don't tell me this is the whole website. Actually, this is pretty cool. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this right now. Your preset is ready. Cool. All right. So what I just did, let me explain that to you. So this is actually nice. I just learned that you could do this. So on this guy's site, it is a really simple site, right? But if you go down here to slash customize the settings app, what I just did is I went to the settings app and you could just pick, you know, your favorite color or whoa, there's Jesus, this this thing just gets better and better. I'm sorry that I haven't actually installed the steam theme in a really long time. This is actually really cool. So this is how to get sidetracked 101 here. So I just picked my color there. You can pick like your favorite font. I I, I can't pronounce. I'm not gonna try to pronounce that font, but I liked it. Century Gothic's okay. It's a little overused. We're gonna play it safe and go with Sagoa UI. And we're gonna check in the yard, display an indicator icon. There's there's just some basic settings. We're gonna go with the beta fish theme. And then click save, and then you'll download it. And it's telling us I have never done this before. We're we're gonna it's a learning experience. We're learning this together. We're going to move the custom styles to that directory. It seems easy enough, right? Except I probably have to rename that file. Okay, anyway. We have our window. We have our downloads. If you're in Chrome, they'll be there. If you're in Firefox, they'll be up here somewhere, etc. So basically now it's just dragging and dropping files as far as I remember. So let's open a finder here. And I don't know what... Here, here's my finder. Okay. So... We're in our finder, we're going to go to wherever you installed Steam. For most of you, it's going to be on your local disk, and then the one with the little Windows logo here, like if we go to this PC, it's going to be on this one that has Windows installed. I installed it on a, another hard drive because I have an SSD here, and then I have a like a mass storage hard drive, which is where I installed Steam because it has all those games and stuff, and it takes up some space. So mine, you're going to want to navigate to where you installed Steam. For most of you, like I said, it's going to be in local disk. Program files, like probably x86, and then it'll be in here somewhere, and you'll have a Steam folder. Why do I have a Steam folder here? Oh, I don't know what that is. Uh, so for but for me, it's in mass storage under uh, programs, Steam, and then so this is what the interior of your Steam folder kind of looks like. It it'll look something like this if you're in the right folder. And basically, what you're gonna want to do is first of all, you're gonna want to put your styles and your theme somewhere where you can easily access them in a finder window or on your desktop or whatever, doesn't matter. And so we have those. 
and we want to put them in a certain directory and I'm really dragging out this tutorial it shouldn't really not take this long it'll take you like two seconds so in this steam folder there will be a skins folder somewhere and it's gonna look like this it's gonna say skins you're gonna open it beautiful and I actually already installed like Metro for Steam 4.0.4 but it, apparently it's updated a lot since I last downloaded it so it's it's good so I'm just gonna clear this out it will be a oh shoot maybe I don't know if I was supposed to delete this okay whatever I'll just keep that there I'm, I'm gonna clear this out though your skins folder either will have nothing or it might have this I'm not sure what this is to be honest and I've never read this before but I'll keep it in there just in case and so you have your 4.1.3 drag in your whatever and then and then I believe you're going to want to extract, not scan with malware. Gosh, I'm trying to do one tutorial and I already messed it up. All right, extract. Extract the files right to there, right to the same location. It'll take about three and a half seconds. Perfect. Uh, so for Metro, see, there's a little, there's quirks to every theme the mo for the most part. And uh, install this font. So you're going to need to install this font. And it's pretty, installing fonts for Windows is pretty easy. Oh, wait. I'm on Windows 10, and this is a Windows 10 tutorial, we might not have to do this. But in case you are on Windows 7 or older, you just install this like this. I already installed it, but I'm going to replace it just in case. But yeah, so that's all That's all you have to do to install fonts like that. It's really easy. And uh, once you've extracted your, your file, you'll have this folder in addition to your zip. You go in that folder, and this is what we actually need here. This is the, this is, this is the good stuff here. So you're going to want to grab this, drag it into your skins folder, like that. Beautiful. There we go. So this is what I'm actually going to, this is what I'm actually going to go based off of. And I always like to have the version of the skins so I know when mine's out of date. And uh, so we'll be fine. If we want to keep these files in here, it doesn't really matter. And uh, so now we have this. Now this is our, this is our golden folder. And you'll remember I downloaded this custom styles thing. And as far as I can tell, what it wanted us to do there is it told us to move the custom.styles. I'm basically giving you a tutorial on how to Google stuff, so I'm sorry, but <laughs> move the custom.styles into this directory, which we're in here. So this is our directory here. We're going to go in here, and we're going to replace this with our custom styles. And we're going to take away this one because it has to be probably the exact file name, custom.styles. Drag this in and replace it. Beautiful. Now we'll have our own custom thing. I'm just going to get rid of these extra files here because we don't need these. But I think what would be cool is to install multiple so you guys can see that you can just switch in between them really easily. So I'm going to go look for another cool skin. Uh, I can't this skin, to be honest. Let's, let's try this one. Uh, Steam Group. Let's get the latest one. So yeah, so you can see this one has like a Steam Group page, but either way, you just got to find wherever the download is. We're going to go for the direct download here. And yep, I'm leaving Steam. That's okay. So here, okay, so we got another one. And just in case there was something weird with that last theme, we're going to install two in case one of them doesn't work for you or something. Just so you can see, each installation might be slightly different. Like that one, you need you to install a font and do the custom.styles thing. But other than that, it was pretty straightforward. Extract it just like you did with the last one. It's going to take, again, like three and a half seconds. Perfect. Air for Steam. There we have it. And this one might... Yeah, so as you can see, there's a folder, and inside that folder is the actual theme. So it's a little bit, it's a little bit strange, but you're going to do the same thing. Grab the actual folder with the, with the, you can tell because it'll be the folder with all the contents in it. So grab that, bring it back to the skins folder and there, then you can get rid of the zip file and whatever miscellaneous files you have. And let's just call this air for steam. I have a very organized file naming system, as you can see, but there we go. So now I have my two skins installed, in case I want to switch between them. I can get rid of these files on my desktop now, I don't need those anymore. And so we should be good. So, the hard part, if you would consider that hard, which none of you would, is all said and done. We, all we have to do now is open up Steam, go to this top left Steam icon, not really icon, just Steam text, and then go to Settings here, and then you're going to see... A little a little side tab here called interface so go to that I wonder if it's in Greek yeah okay sorry I just got distracted I'm just so happy that it, that that steam is in Greek to be honest I really didn't expect like I've never seen a game that has been offered in Greek before until I mean like no steam games are available in Greek like Skyrim they don't even make a Greek translation but 
you know, the Steam client. Filled on greet, that just made my day. So anyhow, uh, what was it? What were we doing? I think we were doing... Oh yeah, so interface. Interface tab. This is your window here, the, where it says default skin. Uh, this, this is, you're not going to want that default skin. We just talked about how bad it was. And so once you scroll down here, you'll see how this directly correlates to... You, you'll see how this list here directly correlates to your Steam folder and your skins folder inside of your Steam folder. See, it's the same. See? It's, 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 like I said, the reason I said you should name these something readable is because, see, it goes, it pulls it exactly from there as it's named, as the folder's named. So just name it something readable, like this. So let's let's go on with our Metro for Steam. You just select it here, and uh, it'll make you restart Steam probably. You'll click OK, yep, restart Steam. And since it's installed on my mechanical hard drive, it's going to take like a minute and a half. But what's cool is it even, see, you can even see it restarted. The, oh gosh, the color's terrible. Oh, I really picked a bad color. I had no idea this would... Sorry guys, <laughs> this actually looks really bad. But as you can see, so as you can see, it looks completely different. Like, look at this. It's 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 much more modern. You can see my glorious Steam profile. That's a really that's a really nice screenshot there. It helps. That's awesome. This game looks really awesome. All my Steam friends are weird. But uh, yeah. So you can see Steam looks completely different now. Here's my little list of uh, friends and all that. So yeah, pretty 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 solid theme. It looks pretty nice. I fail to see what's different between this version and the version I downloaded a year ago, but I'm not one to judge. So yeah, I really picked a bad color, though. I had no idea that was going to be the color used for, like, the text. But as you can see, you know, uh, categories look different, pages look different for games, all of that. And, well, let's, let's, and even this, this is different, and the reason I said, like, the buttons would be different is because, you know, the download menu is different. Everything is different, so it does take a tiny bit of getting used to. I think you'll figure it out very quickly, so you'll be fine. You'll be fine, and so like this, this will take you to their website and stuff, and their their group, and you can donate to them if you feel so inclined. Like if you're not like a like a broke child, like most of us are. If you're like a thirty year old man with a steady job, you can donate to them, and uh, you have a lot more options here. You'll notice, and that's just because of the theme. It it gives you more options in the settings menu, which is fine. And uh, let's let's go to settings here, and change our theme to something completely different. Let's change it to that air theme, and it's gonna have us restart again. I bet this air one looks cool though. I haven't ever tried this one. Oh wow, this is something. They may have tried too hard with this. Oh my! It's th I think this was based off like, I think this was based off of if you've ever seen GOG or GOG Galaxy, the client. I might have it installed here. I'm not sure. Yeah, I, I, I think I could get used to this one. I, I think I just need to change the font to something other than Arial here in the side panel. And I think it will be cool. Okay, but basically I'm going to change my theme back to my other ugly theme that I accidentally screwed up really badly. And we are going to take a look at how, like when you're in a game, it'll also affect the uh, overlay, the Steam overlay, which is what happens when you do shift tab. You can see, you can Google stuff in the middle of a game, which is... Super helpful, if I, I might add. Oh, yeah, let's change this to back to Metro. So Metro's, Metro's a pretty good theme. It's just that I screwed it up with that custom thing. I got a little carried away and thought it would be cool to select a really dark shade of blue. So, yeah, I screwed up there. Learning time. I'm just going to show you a quick example of how it affects the UI, the overlay. Let's go in Fallout 3. But you, could do, you could do this with any game, though. And I'm just kind of using this as an example. Game and whatever. And... All you really have to do is shift tab, like you, as you know, that brings up the. What on earth is what? Fall. Oh, I forgot. I picked the only game in Steam that doesn't have a Steam over. Gosh, because Fallout Three. Long story short, it, it, back in the day, of games with Windows Live was a thing. Instead of uh. Instead of the Steam overlay, so it, it had a, like a games with Windows Live overlay. Just oh, gosh, I'm an idiot. Okay, so let's say you're in a game here, right? The Stanley Parable, by the way, one of the best games ever created. So good. But if you do Shift-Tab to bring up the Steam Overlay, look at how different it looks. And I, I was one of my favorite things about this Metro theme is that the, the Shift-Tab menu or the Steam Overlay looks a lot better, I think, than the normal Steam Overlay. The normal Steam Overlay is really just not intuitive. This, on the other hand, 
pretty good if i do say so myself it looks pretty nice and that's how you take 20 minutes installing a steam theme when it really should take you 20 seconds all right so there you have it though that i mean that's why i like steam themes i think it looks a little better than the normal steam overlay and if you're like me and spend a fair amount of time in using steam it looks it it, it just makes you a happier person in general when you see that just just that nice looking software i like that air theme but it wasn't like really fully developed yet so I'm going to stick with Metro, but other than that, yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much how you do it. That's how you spend 20 minutes installing something that would take 20 seconds normally. So sorry about that, but I really, I really, the thing with the tutorials is you got to go really, really slow just in case there are some people that are confused. Because whenever I, w we used to watch tutorials like way back when, the really simple tutorials, I would be watching them because I was already really confused. So you just have to take that into account. Thanks for watching. Leave that thumbs up. If you if you are using a succulent steam theme instead of the normal overlay now, and uh, that's gonna be it. I'll see you when I decide to upload another video. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. what should be the next video? I don't know. Remember that. Remember that vote in that straw poll. That really good straw poll that we're gonna have in the description. Peace. <laughs>